Controversy at the IZOD IndyCar Series race in Edmonton. Elio Castro Nevis leads on a restart, but is penalized for blocking his teammate, Will Power, into turn number one. After the race, Elio showed uncharacteristic emotion, first confronting IZOD Technical Director Kevin Blanche. And then he also had some words with the flagman of the organization. After the race was over, Jack Aroot talked with the competition president of the IndyCar Series, Brian Barnhart. That worked. We've caught up with Brian Barnhart, and Brian, take us through the decision process for the penalty. Well, it's really disappointing that it comes down to something like this, Jack, because in a situation like that, we as officials are just reacting to what happens on the racetrack. We don't create the situation. We respond to it, and the rule's clear on it. In every driver's meeting, we talk about it. Um, we divide the track on, on road courses specifically, and even on some of the ovals, we divide the track physically in half, and on the road courses, from the breaking point to entry, they're told you can only be on the inside half if you're attempting to overtake someone. If you're on the inside half while someone's trying to overtake you, you, it's blocking. And unfortunately, you know, I know, I know they're competitive guys. I know it's late in the race, but it, it really wasn't a uh, difficult call to make. I mean, as Will said, Will admitted he blocked him. It, it, is, it is what it is. And unfortunately, you know, Will suggested it was a position swap. Well, the rule book states that a penalty for blocking is a minimum of a black flag drive through penalty. So, uh, you know, it, it's just a shame that it comes down to that. Um, but like I say, as officials, we just responded to the situation that was presented to us, and we responded according to the rules. So you have now officially signed the order of finish that shows Scott Dixon is the winner. Yeah, that's correct. The, the biggest thing we were looking for, it wasn't a debate on, on whether he was going to get a penalty or not, it was where to put him. And uh, with the, the time penalty of what a drive through would have done, where it would have placed him in the queue, and we gave him a 20-second penalty for a drive through and put him behind uh, Sato, I believe, in the grid. Thanks, Brian. Thank you. The rule was indeed clearly spelled out in the driver's meeting held earlier on Sunday morning. We shouldn't have any defending or blocking. Again, we'll be visually dividing the breaking point to the entry uh, in the corner in the half. You can only be on the inside half if you're overtaking someone and attempting to pass. If you're down there when you're being passed, that's blocking and don't impede the progress of the car behind you or move your car in a reaction to uh, following actions of a car behind you. And if we put a line in from the braking zone, divide the track in half as he suggests and let it roll, sure enough, Castro Neves is well inside that dividing line, Robbie. Yeah, and it's very clear. He says you can only be down the inside if you're passing. You can't go down there and just pick that lane and defend. And so Scott Dixon wins his second race of 2010.